Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers from Butterscotch.com and welcome to your tutorial series on the new iPhone 4. This is a bit of a grab bag of features found in iOS 4, the new operating system from Apple, also available on the iPhone 4, of course. So first up, we're going to take a look at the search engine capability in Safari. So if we launch Safari right now, we see that our search engine is listed as Google. But we want to switch that. So we're going to go into Settings. We're going to scroll down to Safari. It's down a little bit, so we'll click on Safari. Up top, we have Search Engine here, and we have the ability to switch between Google, Yahoo, and Bing. So we're going to switch to Microsoft's new Bing search engine, back out again. And when we go into Safari, we'll notice up top it is switched from Google to Bing. Another feature on this is the ability to lock your orientation. So you can see as we're in Safari, when we switch it sideways, it'll actually spin the screen around. And that's not necessarily always ideal. Sometimes we just want to lock it into one location because we may be moving our hand around. We don't want the, the screen just flipping back and forth as our hand jiggles around. So and this is not just for Safari, but for any application on here. So to do that, there's no switch on here. On the iPad, you had a switch on the top that would allow you to lock into a single orientation. On this one, you actually go into the multitasking menu, and instead of going over to the right like we did here, we'll go over to the far left. You've got some player controls for your iPod or Slacker or whatever application happens to be using them at the time. But we also have this, which is the orientation lock. So we're going to hit that, and it says portrait orientation is locked. So I'm going to go back to Safari here, and we spin it. Nothing happens. It's actually locked. And again, this is for any app that you happen to have open while the lock is on. So we can go into other apps and it'll do the same thing. To get out of this, we'll multitasking menu open again, hit that, unlock it, go back in here, and we have normal order of things restored. We can actually spin the screen as we spin the iPhone. One other feature here that we have is the ability to change our wallpaper. Now we've got the generic wallpaper here that iPhone 4 and iOS 4 uses, but we can change that. So we go into settings again, scroll to where it says wallpaper here. We hit that and we've got the lock screen and we've got the home screen. We have the ability to switch either of them, either together or separately. So let's uh, switch and cl click on the home screen and we can hit the camera roll. And we can choose, say, our man Andrew Moore Crispin here, who is our web editor. He's a lovely fellow, so we'll hit set and we'll set him as our home screen. So now in behind everything here, we have him. But when we lock it and come back, it should still be the, the standard one. So we have the ability to switch it to both, and we have two different ones if we so desire. One last feature that we're going to look at here is auto-correction. So we, we did have the ability while we were typing a note, for example, um, it would suggest that you're typing things incorrectly when you're typing on the go. So we always had that feature pop up, so we can ignore this and type something else. And it gives you suggestions, but we don't necessarily want to use these at the moment, so we'll just do this, blah, 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 away we go, and we've got a bunch of things that are now underlined. It's indicating that they're quite clearly wrong. And after the fact now, uh, before it was just doing that as you type, but now after the fact, you can tap on that, and it'll give you some suggestions as to what you may have meant. So we're going to hit Writer. And on this one, let's see what it suggests. Type. So type writer. So we've been able to correct both of them. It's not 100%, so you will find some things that it doesn't quite understand, especially if you type really badly, like I sometimes have the uh, tendency to do. Anyways, that's a look at uh, a few assorted features on the iPhone 4 and iOS 4. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series where we look at some of the other features, both hardware and software, on the iPhone 4.